If you want to make the most money from the sale of your home and sell in the least amount of time possible, this video is for you. I'm Tashina Bennett with Homes with Sheena and EXP Realty, and I'll give you the five big mistakes that sellers make, and I'll tell you how to avoid them. Be sure to stay to the end because number five is the most important. Now let's get to it. The number one mistake is using a real estate agent instead of a realtor. When you're looking for help buying or selling property, it's important to remember that the terms real estate agent and realtor are not synonymous. To be a realtor, you must be a member in good standing of the National Association of Realtors. It's a nonprofit trade organization that promotes real estate information, education, and professional standards. NAR members adhere to strict code of ethics founded on the principle of providing fair and honest service to all consumers. Realtor business practices are monitored at local levels. Arbitration and disciplinary systems are in place to address complaints from the public or board members. This local monitoring keeps realtors directly accountable to the individual consumers they serve. The National Association of Realtors also has earned a strong reputation for actively champion private property rights and working to make home ownership affordable and accessible. The number two mistake is failing to maximize the curb appeal of your home. When you're preparing your house for sale, remember the importance of first impressions. A buyer's first impression can determine whether they'll choose to look inside. It's estimated that more than 50% of shoppers decide to purchase a home even before they get out the car. With that in mind, be sure to stand outside your home and take a realistic, fresh look. Then ask yourself and your realtor what you can do to enhance the curb appeal. It could make a significant difference in your final sales price as well as the speed of your sale. Mistake number three is not appreciating the buyer's point of view. Unreasonable though it may be, a prospective buyer would like to see a perfect home from top to bottom and inside and out. To improve the likelihood of an easy, fast, and profitable home sale, I suggest that you attend to the following items. On the outside of the home, sweep the front walkway, remove newspapers, bikes, and toys, park extra cars away from the property, trim back the shrubs, apply fresh clean paint on your home, wooden fences, and outbuildings. Clean windows and window coverings, maintain sprinkler systems, Maintain ceilings around windows and doors. Make sure roof and gutters are clean and in good condition. Mow the lawn frequently and plant flowers. Keep pet areas clean as well. And take down out of season decorations. Now for the inside of the home, the kitchen and the bathroom should look and smell clean. Vacuum rugs, and carpets and have them professionally cleaned if necessary. Place fresh flowers in the main rooms. Put away dishes unless setting a formal display for decoration. Make all beds and put away all clothes. Open drapes and turn on lights for a brighter feel. Straighten closets. Put away toys. Turn off televisions. Play soft music on the radio or stereo, keep pets out of the way, and pet areas clean and odor free. Secure your jewelry, cash, prescription medication, and other valuables. Consider removing unnecessary furniture 
and appliances from countertops to create a greater sense of space. And consider baking cookies or light scented candles to create a homey atmosphere. Number four mistake is thinking you need to be in the home to provide details to prospective buyers. Allow your realtor to do his or her job without you on site. Most potential buyers feel more comfortable if they can speak freely to the real estate professional without the owner present. If people unaccompanied by an agent would like to see your property, refer them to your real estate professional for an appointment. And mistake number five is overpricing your home. Perhaps the most challenging aspect of selling a home is listing it at the correct price. It's one of the several areas where the assistance of a skilled real estate consultant can pay for itself versus trying to sell your home yourself. If the listing price is too high, you'll miss out on a percentage of buyers looking in the range where your home should be priced at. Some people think that if they leave some wiggle room in the price, they'll always have the opportunity to negotiate and accept a lower offer. However, chances are the offers won't even come in because the buyers who would be most interested in your home have been scared off by the price and won't even take the time to consider it. By the time you correct the price, you've already missed exposure to a group of potential buyers. The listing price becomes even trickier to set when prices are quickly rising or falling. It's critical to be aware of where and how fast the market is moving, both when setting the price and when negotiating an offer. An experienced, well-trained real estate consultant will always be in touch with market trends offer even to a greater extent than appraisers who typically focus on what a property is worth if sold as is right now. And there you have it, five big mistakes sellers make and how to avoid them. Whether you're selling your home for the first time or you have sold a home before, I'm here to make selling your home as smooth as possible. Contact me for a free, no obligation market analysis of your home today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more real estate insights. Until next time.